Hello and welcome to the seventh topic in this course. We're now looking at operators, uh, not the most inspiring or interesting topic in Italy, but you know, we've got to cover it. So the only things really that I think you would maybe haven't come across or it's worth going over again in more detail are the modulus and into the division because they're slightly different to everything else. Everything else will sort of race through a little bit. So arithmetic operators take numerical values and produce a single numerical value. So it's dealing with numbers. Uh, if you didn't get that. So 5 plus 10, this expression, the operator is the addition symbol, addition, and it's telling us what we're doing. And the operand, so the data, um, 5 plus 10, sorry, 5 and 10. Um, it also sometimes called arguments. It doesn't really matter what you call it. I'm just going to refer to the data used, so in this case, numbers, as the operands. So the easy ones will skip through. Uh, perhaps division, uh, I mean, division is essentially we have two types of division we're talking about and the first one is what you'd call normal division it's division of numbers that are real so real or float data type and so you may get a fractional result so normal division you're getting um, a fr you may get a fractional result uh, integer division is different in the sense that you just get an integer back so you get the quotient and the remainder is usually discarded. It does vary a little bit into the division language to language, and in some languages it's done more implicitly. So if the operands are both integers, you'll just have the integer division. If they're, if one of them's a float, you'll get normal division. Um, in case you don't know, I don't know massively the level you talk about the terminology at GCSE maths, um, but the quotient is how many whole times the divisor goes into, into the dividend. So if we have 5 divided by 2, the divisor is 2 and the dividend is 5. So we're going, how many times does 2 go into 5? Uh, it goes in twice, 2 whole times, remainder 1 to make up 5. And that's what interdivision does, it just finds the quotient. Um, the modulus or modulo operation returns the remainder. So it uh, essentially finds what the into the division discards. So, as an example, uh, firstly of into the division five with two forward slashes two. That's the operator for into the division in Python. We get two because, like I say, two goes into, two goes into five two whole times. If you want both your quotient and your remainder in kind of separately, but uh, expressed together, you can use a built-in function. So this built-in function in Python and five mod two. So uh, the pseudocode for Edexcel will say mod, so it'll be, like I say, 5 mod 2, uh, but in Python the operator is the percentage sign, so 5 mod 2 would be 1, because we get we have 1 remainder. Okay, if we're going to look at relational operators, these compare two operands to determine their relationship and evaluate to a Boolean value, so that's true or false, also represented by 1 and 0 respectively. So this is just using the Python interactive shell to do this. So essentially this is just evaluating this condition. 5 is less than 9 and that's true. So we get true back. And this is saying is 4 is not equal to 4. Well it is so we get false. And there's a couple of operators you need to know. I'm sure we've covered them in maths. And the signs do vary a little bit. So uh, there's not a massive amount to talk about those to be honest and just a quick reminder I would hate for you to get tricked by this again this is probably coming from GCSE maths but when you multiply or divide both sides of an inequality by a negative number you have to switch your sign so if we have minus 3x is less than or equal to 6 we have to we're dividing both sides by minus 3 to isolate the x and we have to switch our sign so just reverse the directions now it's x is greater than or equal to minus 2 uh, this sign just means implies by the way Okay, so Boolean operators are used to manipulate true or false values in Boolean algebra. Boolean algebra, don't worry too much about it. Um, it's not really covered at GCSE. But, um, okay, so you need to know three of these. So not is probably the simplest. It just reverses the input. So if we have not false, we get true. It just does the opposite. So it's, it's flipping between true or false depending on what is used after the operator. So if it's not true, we get false. There's only really two options. And then to return to true if both conditions are true. So in any other sense, the result is false. Um, I should say at this point, I, uh, this is covered in a lot more detail later. So if this, if you're concerned if I'm racing through this, Boolean operators are covered in a, a chapter called logic. 
later in the course and we'll cover it in more detail we'll look at the symbols we'll look at the truth tables it will be covered there in more detail but this is maybe just revision and it, it's part of the topic so we'll cover it twice um so yeah and returns true if both conditions are true otherwise the result is false so if the year equals 2009 in this example um it has to be to evaluate it to true it has to be the year has to be greater than 2010 so automatically because both conditions have to be true, the result is false. That's not written particularly helpfully, but it does make sense, I think. So, or uh, returns true if either of the conditions are true. So, it's slightly more flexible than the end operator. So, it will only ever return false if both conditions are false. So, true or false would be true because one of the conditions is true. Okay, that's it for today's video. A relatively straightforward one, I think. Uh, the next one is maybe slightly more complicated. So, I hope to see you there. Thank you.